Hey, what's up guys? It's Eric Johnson from Airtay Throws Nation and we're just going to do a quick rundown recap of the discus men's qualifying at the Eugene World Championships here in 2022. We had basically there was three guys over 64 meters, three guys over 65 meters, three over 66 and three over 68. That gets your final 12. Um, with Alex Rose of Samoa bringing it in in 12th place. Um, your top three, 68-91 uh, for Mikolas Alekna. Amazing, guy's 19 years old. Again, he's 11 days younger than my son. Um, so I think that is, the guy's absolutely incredible. He hit it on his second throw. Christian Che, one and done, 68 uh, 23 on his first throw and he was finished. Simone Peterson opened up with a nice uh, modest throw and then hit a 68-11 on his second throw. So really great to see him. Matt Denny, same thing. Good opener, 64 plus. He goes 66-98 on his second throw. So almost 67 meters right around his PR. He's on fire. I call him Showtime Denny because he always delivers big performances at the biggest stage. Um, you saw him in Doha, centimeters away from a bronze, centimeters from away from a bronze in Tokyo. He's been throwing extremely well this year, um, just always in the mix. Uh, Guzdias hit the auto qualifier on his third round throw, and then you had Weisheidinger who hit it also on his first throw. One and done, out, 66-51. So you've got Six guys over 66 meters on the auto. Daniel Stahl hit a foul, hit his second throw, goes 65-95, uh, so basically right 65 meters. And he takes another throw, but it was a, a no mark. Um, Sam Mattis performed really well. Looks, he hit his 65-59 in the second round. Great Great throw for Mattis. That's his best throw at a major international competition, distance-wise. So congrats to him. Alan uh, Furfica, who goes, uh, I think I said that, uh, Fierica, I, I, I always mess that one up, um, has a season best, 65-54. And then it was great to see Frederick Dakers uh, with a 64-49. You can never count him out. He's got the big meat experience. Um, the guy's a stud. It's going to be really interesting to see what happens in the final. Travis Smickle, again, finishing up at 64-21, and Alex Rose at 64-14 getting in. So the next rounds were 63, so um, you know, 12th place was almost a meter ahead of 13th. Um, good job and shout out to the Americans, Andrew Evans, um, the U.S. champion. Guy came out of retirement, won the U.S. title. Actually threw well, just didn't hit the distances that he needed to secure a spot in the final. This is one of the toughest finals in, um, you know, one of the biggest, deepest qualifying rounds in history at the World Championships with 12 guys over 64 meters. That's really impressive. I think historically, 63 something will always has always made a final. Um, multiple guys in that range, and 64 14 was 12th. So um, it's going to be an exciting final. I think Jay's going to go big, and then. I'm kind of riding on that, that Alekna's been hot, but it's his first world final. He's still really young. He's proven time and time again. This guy is a big time competitor, but we will see who does what. I think that's going to be, um, you, you, like I said, you never can tell who's going to do what. Um, it's going to be pretty exciting. I think the conditions are going to be great, and we're going to see some big time uh, performances at the World Championship. So good luck to all the competitors. Stay tuned. Let us know. Put in the comments. What do you think? Who's going to be your one, two, three? Um, I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with Denny for the for for uh, for a medal. I think Denny's going to come up. He he's a, that guy is intense. I love watching him. So I'm going to go Che. Alekna and Denny and no disrespect to Simone or Daniel Stahl or Weiss Heidinger But we'll see we'll look back. I just got to go with it, right? Okay guys put your comments below remember hit subscribe uh, You know thumbs up share all that good stuff and we'll see you guys on the next video. Take care